Welcome back to Postscriptum. The fireworks you might be able to hear behind me are the remnants of Ungrateful Colonials Day. Now let's have some fun with the brain gun. Allegedly it's more accurate if I use the bipod. I mean I hit him eventually I suppose. Crawling enemies are just as dangerous as running enemies, but let's forget this range nonsense and get up close and personal. Oh it's a massacre! I have no idea what three consenting adults were doing crawling around in an alleyway. But let's give it another look, just to see if we can work it out. Nope, I'm still none the wiser, and I think I managed to hit them with about half the magazine. Pretty sure someone just threw a grenade at me. Oh, that's it. Pew, pew, pew! In the face. I'll emerge this smoke like some kind of rock star. Quickly hose this guy and run away from what is another grenade. The amount of enemies around here, there's got to be an outpost. Let's go have a little look and discover more men crouching in an alleyway together. The Bren gun's not exactly subtle. Huh, pretty pleased with my handiwork there. Is that some rooftop snipers I see? Absolute filth. Let's try this thing at range again. It is laser accurate. Oh, all that noise. I've got myself an admirer. Who I've missed completely. Well, he's too dangerous to leave alive. He nearly shanked me. Fair play. Following our tank, you can only be up to no good. Let's put you down. The tanks do tend to draw quite a lot of attention. If only I hadn't been looking at the map, I could have stopped this guy before he shot our tank. Still the perfect house clearance weapon. As much fun as the Bren gun was, it's time to move on to the Browning. I've grabbed myself a troop carrier with four guys in it, and we're driving straight into the point. That sound tells me I'm down to three, and the medics jumped out to heal him. Luckily, I've still got my gunner. Who's also been shot out of the seat? They'll never hit me through this window. Oh... I've got no idea how good this thing is from the hip, so I'm just going to take my time and set up. He could have swerved at least, or maybe shot back. That sound tells me I'm not alone in this house. A fellow machine gunner. That was lucky. I can still hear somebody else moving around in this house. Huh. Maybe I should stick to the pistol. I seem a lot more effective with it. Ahead of me is the filthy rooftop sniper who shot me off a ladder as I was trying to get onto a rooftop. Ten rounds of hot lead to the ass should teach him a lesson. And hanging in such an undignified manner over that railing is my body. I'll sell up in this window for a bit of stability. Nope. Nope. Third time's the charm. Yeah. Did that guy not see what happened to his friend? Run away, you idiot! What about escape from Tarkov? I feel the MG would be overkill in this situation. Let's take our time. Again, I think both shots were to the ass. I've got issues. Okay, this is the last time I'm going to use the handgun and get back to actually being a machine gunner. Inside a place of worship. This one's going to take some serious donations and confessions to wipe my sins clean. I think shooting out of the church is better than shooting inside the church. Right? The satisfying ting of a headshot. Technically, I'm outside the church. That's going to buy me some points with the Almighty.
That grenade tells me I might have annoyed them. Hey, I know this guy. We fought together on the same squad last match. Oh, dude. Now, I'm not a big believer in karmic justice. He has apologised. And I don't really believe he deserves punishment. But the game has got other ideas. Well, that was unpleasant. I'll just go see if he's okay. Oh, I think he's a little beyond morphine. And I've got no idea what happened to that guy. A big flame came out of his ass. Let's watch again. Not a clue. Having grown up in a railway town, crossing the tracks is unacceptable. And that tank seems to agree. Unfortunately, I don't have any equipment that can put a dent in that tank. So we might as well have some fun with it. Yeah, tank surfing. Look at me, I'm riding a tank. It's probably the safest place to be at the moment. Ooh, an enemy truck, let's give it a drive by. Oh no, in my excitement, I've taken out a friendly. If I was plotting evil as the Germans, it would be in a place like this. And I've caught them with their pants down. I think somebody just shot at me. And a second time. The cheek of it. Honestly, for a second there, I thought he was a scarecrow. The rustling of the bushes tells me that someone is behind me. I've tagged him. That only took about 30 rounds. And to finish off, I've got the MG42, the machine gun I find the most difficult to handle. That guy in front seen me. I'll just make a lot of noise in his general direction. The rate of fire on this thing is blistering. I'll toss a couple of grenades just to be sure. Well, I never. There's one. What's left of two? Three? And four? And an enemy troop carrier right at the start of the game. I might have accidentally hit half a squad. My keen sense of hearing tells me that in the next bush over, there's a Bren gun. Unlike the Bren gun and the Browning, I do not recommend you wield the MG42 from the hip, and I'm about to demonstrate why. That was borderline embarrassing. I'm going to be a team player and I've been told to suppress this hedge in front of me. So I'm just going to make a lot of noise in that direction. Well, they're not happy about it and they're throwing plenty of grenades towards me. Let's just crawl out the way and hide. That was a complete fluke. They're coming right for me. I've got no choice. Do not Do not they must be devastated. I've got them both. A worthy sacrifice. This is about as far away as you want to get when firing from the hip. Thank you for watching and like and subscribe if you'd like to see more postscriptum.